we're working with text in Flash, there's just a few things that we need to keep in mind. If we bring up the text tool, it's the letter T here in the toolbar, we get the text properties panel. And you can see at the very top here, classic text. This is one of the text engines. There's two of them, TLF and classic. Most of the time, you're going to be able to work with classic. Classic has three kinds of text static, dynamic, and input. Static is just like it sounds. It doesn't change. If you put some text on the screen, you're never going to change it from what it is right now. Dynamic means you need the capability that you can go back and edit the text through your ActionScript programming. So what's on this stage at the beginning may be different later on. Input text means that the user at runtime can actually type into the field and change it, kind of like a text field. In, uh, in a web page. So with static text selected, Calibri is the font family that I'm going to use. Just click on the stage and type your text. Now this is the only time where the keyboard shortcuts aren't going to work. If I hit the letter V to bring up my selection tool, it's actually going to type in the text field. So this is the one time where we do have to go over and actually click on the, the tool. So if I wanted to add a dynamic text field, I'll just change this drop-down list to dynamic, click the text tool, click on the stage, and there we are, there's my text field. And I can resize this, reshape it however I want. For dynamic, if you're going to be changing it programmatically later on, you want to make sure it's big enough that the text is not going to get cut off if you put too much in the box. Input text, as I was saying before, this is just if you want to create a box where the user could type later on. You'll notice with my uh, font size here, I've got it set to 24 point. I can make my text box bigger or smaller, but the actual size of the text doesn't change or get affected, and I cannot shrink the box smaller than that font size, which is a nice feature. The other type of text engine TLF text works the same sort of way. There's three kinds of text. Read-only, which is static. Selectable is your dynamic. Editable means the user, your, the end user can type in there and change the text. Same sort of idea. The difference is with the engine, you can create columns of text or you can link text fields together so that as text gets added, it pours from one field into the next. And it means that you can create unusual shapes for your text areas on the stage.